Your agency is a mess, and we are going to fix it in the next couple of minutes. How many project management tools have you tried? Why did you decide on ClickUp, and has it solved your problems? Or is your team still confused? Tasks are getting lost. You have no idea what's literally going on in your own company. After working with over 100 agencies, I can tell you one thing with confidence. They all make the same mistakes. In this video, I'm going to share the exact ClickUp setup I use for digital agencies to turn their everyday chaos into a money printing machine. My name is Arman, and I'm a certified ClickUp consultant. For years, I've been in the trenches with agencies like yours, helping them to figure out their processes and build insane systems. I've seen firsthand how messy ClickUp workspace creates literally more work. But a really great workspace can be your agency's biggest weapon. The biggest mistake agencies make is jumping into ClickUp without a zero plan. They will directly jump into ClickUp workspace using some templates, opening random tasks, pushing some buttons, and hope that all their operations and project management is going to work perfectly from now on. Trying to set up a tool without having a proper understanding of your business fundamentals and structure will just create a disaster. The framework I'm going to give you fixes all of these problems. It's built around two very simple but crazy important ideas, simplicity and standardization. Now let's go deeper into the actual structure of the spaces. First of all, the operation space is your company itself. Like if you're managing your clients in here as in folders and lists, this is your company as a client for you. This space should represent your actual operations, departments, and team you have. Don't follow a template structure. Don't go with the things you don't need. For example, if your accounting is done in QuickBooks or any other finance management tool, you don't have to have accounting in here unless you want to manage tasks of the accounting. Same thing with the legal, HR, whatever. I suggest to have a dedicated place where you at least manage everything on the high level, but this should not be over excessive. This should actually be your company. I suggest usually to have a leadership, which it should be a private list in here. When you click on it, you can go sharing and permissions and make sure to make it private so other team members don't access in here. This is the tasks of the CEO, founder, any other managers which you don't want to share with your team. For example, firing someone, financials, meetings. So this is a good place to have. The next one usually agencies need is web and tech. This is your, your own website, your own technical works, like collaboration with your developer and the rest of the team, like bug reports, design, development, launch, etc. Again, don't follow templates over excessive. Make it as simple as needed. Here I've made like a huge template to show you how this can actually look. But you can just have a simple checklist in here with bug report or website update. Just have a dedicated place for your technical works. Same thing goes with the team management HR. This can be a place where you track your team birthdays, bonuses, one-on-one uh, -on -one meetings. Everything can go in here. I also suggest to have this admin works, which is kind of the tasks which are needed for the company, but not falling under any department or any structure per se. That can be ordering a paper, like organizing team meeting or general company related works, which usually the admin or the assistant is handling, but it's nice to have a space here so we don't go and use our own notebooks for it. And the last most important part of the operation space is the company wiki. Here you will keep your SOPs, uh, your vision, mission, handbooks, everything should go in here. This should be like one source for your employees to look for something if you're not sure. For example, if your team is working on a project and we need to see the SOP in a specific situation, we should go to company wiki be able to find it. Also a good practice is to mark this doc because this is a ClickUp doc. If you click on this dots here and like mark it as wiki, in case you have ClickUp AI, which is integrated with all of the ClickUp right now, this will help ClickUp to understand this is a source of truth for me to learn and help the team throughout the whole our ClickUp workspace. If you need to ask ClickUp AI anything, it will base itself on it. This is kind of like a knowledge base for ClickUp AI. Next, the growth space is basically your marketing and sales. The growth space can be combined on the operations, meaning you have one operations and one client space. Usually in cases when you have a dedicated CRM like HubSpot or Close IO, you can skip keeping the business directory sales or CRM in here just put 
project management related works to the sales, for example. Setting up CRM, doing the audit, uh, connection between sales and project management. It can also be automated for Zapier or other tools. For example, HubSpot has a native integration with ClickUp. But the idea is if you have a good CRM, you don't need to sacrifice it just to move it to ClickUp. ClickUp is a project management tool first. So keep your CRM, use this for tracking business related stuff. Or if you don't have a CRM, you can use ClickUp as well to make a very simple and easy CRM too. I usually suggest to have a proper CRM and move this growth part into like marketing, for example. You can see like we have a marketing plan in here and this can be a list which is part of operations. You don't really need a whole space for it. Same thing, business directory. If you want to keep a like client information here, you can keep it here. Very simple. You see like the CRM is super simple in here, but if you don't need it, you don't need it. Don't overdo it. Don't try to combine everything in one place. Your first goal is to make a productive, simplistic project management system. Lastly, let's talk about the client space. This is your most important part of your setup because this is where you actually manage your client projects and make money. There are two approaches of setting up this client space. It's list level and folder level. If you're an agency which provide a single service or your services in just like one package of simpler interconnected services, I suggest to go with the list because you don't want to overcomplicate and create a folder with five lists and each one having just one task. This should come from the idea of, are we doing a separate services for a client which are not very dependent on each other and can run separately, or we are providing the same package all the time to the same clients. So if you have more simple or same package approach, go for the list, you see client X is a list for me, or if you have multiple services like marketing, design, development as one package, and sometimes you do one service, you don't do the other service, I suggest to go with client folder. You will have client name, in my case, client P, and client P can have marketing works, web development design under it. The beauty of this structure is when you create a client X for you, like say an ideal client, and you put some effort into building a list of the tasks you are doing for each of your clients, you can build a template on it. Templates are one of the most powerful tool in ClickUp because using template, you can scale your business in the crazy rapidly. And template works both on the list level in here and folder level in here. You can create a folder with separate lists put the tasks, that start dates, deadlines, statuses, everything, you just you put it there. Like this is your ideal client, how your process is. Build it up your list, build it up your folders, click on the three dots, go to templates and save as a template. Now, next time when you have a new client, you don't need to go and set up a whole thing for the client. You will just click on the plus in here, go to templates. And from the template directory, you will be like, okay, this is an advertisement client, quick use, and it will just duplicate the same thing you have in here. Templates can be created on task level, list level, folder level. So basically everything can be recreated. And that's the secret to the growth in ClickUp. Build recreatable hierarchy. Then if you want to optimize your ClickUp even better and jump to the next scale of productivity, you go to automations, manage automations, and you can go to browse to see pre-built ones. And here you have plenty of automations you can implement on your client projects, your own operations, anything you can think of. Basically, you can automate in ClickUp. Whenever I'm doing a new setup for a client, I like to create the group of automations I call supportive automations. These are things like the, when status is changing, assign someone, when due date arrives, notify someone, or when it moves to the stage or attack, a label is added, update the status, notify someone. Again, these are the daily operations you do, your daily manual tasks, which you don't even notice. And you might think, oh, this is just like one click. Why should I go and automate it? It's just like overkill. But trust me, when you pin down those small things and when you automate them, this can save you 10 or 20 hours per week, depending on your workload, because a lot of things you spend time on thinking, forgetting, or like manually doing all the time will be automated. And another beautiful thing is that you can 
combine automations with the templates. If you have template tasks, you can create an automation saying, whenever I create a task, which has a tag of project management, apply a template of the project management task. So if you have a correct structure in here, you can use templates and automations. You can combine them and increase your productivity so much that most of the work and time you're spending right now in your daily operations just disappears. It becomes like automated and you can increase your capacity even with your own team five to six times, meaning you can take more clients with your current capacity, making you way more profitable. I know this is a crazy amount of information I'm sharing and setting it up can be a nightmare. If you are ready to end the chaos and implement a system that actually works, you have only two choices. You can grab the free handbook I've left in the description of this video and try to build it yourself. Or if you want to get it done perfectly and if you want to get done fast, you can book a free consultation call with me. On the call, we will do a quick dive into your business operations and build a unique foundation for your own ClickUp setup. The link for that is also in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video valuable, do me a favor, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to get more advice on how to run a productive, stress-free and profitable business.